cases in Fiji. Uh, let me put this into context as well, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, as we know, Suva and Nashinu uh, areas are heavily populated. And it's because of the economic activities. It's the heart of the economic activities uh, in the Central Division that attracts uh, a lot of people uh, into uh, these um, uh, uh, two municipalities, uh, namely uh, Suva City and uh, Nashinu as well. Um, it attracts people. Uh, and at the same time creates opportunities and with these opportunities comes challenges as well. And we are uh, well aware of that and of course uh, doing our very best. Uh, let me also take uh, this opportunity to assure this August House that uh, we are doing our best, uh, the Ministry and of course uh, particularly the Fiji Police Force together with the, its key stakeholders to ensure the protection of the lives properties and the preservation of uh, uh, law and order uh, in these uh, uh, two major municipalities. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, some of the uh, uh, strategies and the activities undertaken uh, by the Fiji Police Force in order to address um, uh, such cases in the Suva and Nishinu areas are one is the uh, strengthening uh, police uh, visibility in most of these affected uh, areas. This is very, very important. Uh, presence alone makes a lot of difference. Uh, and of course, uh, hopefully it will bring the necessary effects as well uh, to uh, those that uh, are into uh, such uh, activities. And of course, uh, with that uh, increased presence, uh, this is not only in, but uh, uh, the areas are targeted uh, based on um, the assessments uh, that are made uh, by the police force, uh, not only in the uh, central business district, but of course in key areas including uh, intersections, uh, schools, uh, and um, uh, areas where this uh, sort of uh, trend uh, in uh, offences being uh, committed. So the, it's the uh, police visibility uh, that uh, needs to be seen. And uh, uh, you would note, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, that last weekend uh, there has been a very uh, significant increase in uh, uh, police presence, particularly in the sewer areas. Uh, during the night hours uh, to um, support uh, this strategy that we have in place. Uh, we have also uh, mobilized the Police uh, Special Response Unit that's based uh, in uh, Nasino. Uh, the mobile unit has uh, used to be uh, known. Uh, they are uh, providing additional manpower to the uh, divisional commanders and the station officers uh, in these uh, key areas. So uh, we are also mobilizing the police special uh, response unit. Uh, the use of technology, uh, it will help us a lot uh, and we are thankful for the CCTV cameras that are uh, installed in Suho already and this led to the arrest uh, of uh, uh, members of uh, such uh, groups uh, most recently and we hope and this is where we want to build uh, our relationships together with the key stakeholders particularly the business communities in these municipalities because we need more of these uh, uh, cameras the use of technology to help uh, the police force um, being effective and efficient in the work that they, they undertake and of course uh, help in the uh, reduction in the manpower as well uh, in critical areas so that they can concentrate, concentrate on other areas where they are needed. Um, Strengthening the, the integration with the business community that I have already mentioned, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, and of course, the normal uh, conduct and the visitation to the communities. 
and of course the normal investigative uh, uh, work which needs to be more aggressive and robust as well, uh, particularly on those uh, that uh, we have uh, reliable information on. And of course uh, the Fiji Police Force, uh, Mr. Speaker, are uh, uh, progressively uh, uh, prosecuting uh, those uh, that are seen particularly committing minor offences like uh, loitering, drunk and disorderly and, uh, and so forth. Uh, lastly, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, the continued increase of uh, force operations posture through targeted policing. Uh, I did mention uh, this as well, that we need to be uh, more clinical in the way we do business. And uh, of course, with the manpower and the capability that we have together with, the, with technology, uh, we hope that the police will act more smarter. Uh, and maintain effectiveness and efficiency and of course uh, economizing in terms of costs as well. And I'm thankful that government uh, is continuing to uh, help the police force in terms of increasing its manpower and at the same time developing the capability and the capacities uh, within the police force. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir. I thank the Honorable Minister, the Honorable Linda Tomboya.